What is going on guys, it is me GXMZO back with another tutorial and today it's going to be on something very cool like OG at the moment. Uh, not really OG but it's very creative. You can be like as enthusiastic as you want with this and you can do almost anything. So it's it's a particular like particle form kind of 3D space effect. It's called trap code form. Now, there's trap chord particular, and I don't know what that is. It's kind of the same thing, but I like form better because, like, it just fits in better with um, Call of Duty edits and intros. Particular is more, like, advanced. So, this is what I'm going to be showing you how to make, and I'm going to also, after you've done watching this tutorial, you'll be able to make it and add it into your cool, like, effects and stuff into your edits. So, yeah. Um, there's also going to be these little stars in the background that I'm going to show you how to get. And yeah, let's just get right into it right now. One minute intro. That was nothing, so yeah. First thing is that you're going to want to import your music. And I'm using some DJ Tiesto. That's fine. Next up, you're going to want to make a Control y white solid. Make it comp size. Okay. Control d which is duplicating it. Um, you're going to want to... Rename this one as form. Rename the second one as starburst. After you've done that, you're going to want to add those effects onto them. Um, the first one, I'm on starburst, so stylize starburst. I'm pretty sure it's right here. Simulation. Uh, here it is, my bad. Simulation. And in form, you're going to want to add effect, um, stylize, I don't know, simulate, uh, trap code form, my bad. Uh, so yeah, so as soon as you've done that, you're going to get something like this. And yeah, so to start off, you're going to want to solo the form. Let's go to base form and size X, bring it up, size Y, bring it up, actually, you're gonna want to make it a little rectangle and bring the Z rotation like a diagonal line. Then let's bring the size X a little bit up again and size um Y not too big but not too small like in the middle, so it's not gonna be like a, like a thin line compared to the big sphere in the middle. So you're gonna want to take the particles in Z, make it one particles in Y, bring it up a little bit particles in X, bring it up. Yeah, especially particles in X, you're going to want to bring that up, but not, like, too high. That's about enough. And now, next thing is you're going to want to bring down fractal field. Uh, bring your effect size to about 5. Too much. 2. Perfect. Effect opacity. Uh, 10 is fine. Like, usually 11 and 12 is, like, perfect. So I'm going to just use 12. Displace. This is where the particle and stuff comes in and once you've brought that up the whole thing the whole tutorial comes to art and stuff so yeah let's just bring that to 65 that's good enough because you're going to add a sphere um sphere one from spherical field you're going to want to add the strength to 100 and that's not all you can do you're going to want to bring the radius up about a little bit bigger if you want a little bit help measuring Bring title and action safe with you and bring the radius down to wherever you feel it it needs to be necessary and then that's fine so now that you have an even sphere you can just press space to like quickly go through it if you go through the beginning there's cool little lines going in the middle and this is just really slow-mo compared to what it's going to be in ramp preview and in real time um, render so yeah it's looking really cool it's looking 3D. So, that's just the beginning of it. Um, let's see how far we in. We are in formats. To go into Starburst now, let's just press this two to solo them both. The first thing, you're going to want to scatter them up. Next thing, you're going to want to make the speed point two. The third thing, I think that's about it. So, let's bring the scatter up a little bit more. You don't want too much. You just want like a couple stars. Let's bring the size down. 
a little bit more. So yeah, it's just gonna be little dots. And you want it to be um, not too fast. So um, let's just go up a little bit. Let's go about six seconds up. And let's bring the speed down even lower. Where I'm previewed and see if it's like slow enough. The stars have to be pretty slow. Not enough that in one second, six stars can't go by. It has to be very slow. So one, that's perfect. Now this is way too slow. Let's just bring up the speed in the starburst. The form is way too slow. What we're gonna wanna do, and it's not even audio reacted. So let's go down, drop down, audio react. Like parent it to your audio. Go to reactor one. Uh, the thing you're gonna wanna do is map to fractal. As soon as you've done that, I'm pretty sure it did something. Yeah, fractal. And now let's go bring the strength to negative 170. You're gonna wanna bring the threshold to 11. Um, the width. Oh snap, that makes it some next level thing. So yeah, let's just press control Z on that. Leave it how it is, the frequency leave it, the time offset, leave that. Um, now I guess, um, there's nothing really else I can do. Um, let's just see through it quickly. Oh, we could go to shading. And shading on. Nope, that's horrible. You don't want shading. Let's go to particle. Particle type. There's a sphere. You can add cloudlet. Oh, it makes it too bright. Sprite. Nope. Just leave it as a sphere. If you want, let's try out glow. Glow looks really nice, so we can leave on glow. And, um... If we want, we can just press T because it looks too solid now. You can bring down the opacity down to like 72. So that's looking better. If you want now, you can go to Starburst, add Stylize, Glow. So basically, this just adds a little bit of nice color to this stuff. Like, adds a little bit of personality and stuff. So. Let's just see what it looks like on the form. If we want it here, stylize, glow. No, not fine. I just stylize, glow. We definitely don't want this, so let's see what it looks like with a glow down. Nope, just take off glow. Okay, so seven minutes into the tutorial. I think that's about it. We're just going to want to see how it looks. So let's just play it. Right there is the drop base, so let's just press LL on the music there. And let's just ramp preview that and see how it looks. If it looks bad, we're going to want to do this little trick I know. If it looks good, then we're just going to leave it. So basically, um, the trick is just as soon as the drop base comes, you're going to want to press... Control shift D to split the layers and then add CC light burst onto the second layer. So it's almost at the drop base. Let's just see how it looks like. Yeah, it looks horrible. So we're just gonna do our little trick. Yep, we're gonna do our trick. So just brand preview it again. Okay, so. We know what to do now, so let's just go to form quickly. Um, you're gonna want to come to the let's come down to where we had the displays. If you want, you can bring that up a little bit, and now we can come to the audio react. Let's go to strength, bring it up better. And now, as soon as we have the drop base, which is right here, let's just see how this looks like with the audio reacted. Okay, so. Okay, now you're gonna want to press Control Shift D to where the form is like. Um, hit the drop base. You're gonna want to press None for the audio react, and you're gonna want to make it from fractal to particle, um, particle size, and then come to Editor Schools little presets, or add make your own little CC light burst. Just add a little bit, and then about a second up, bring the the um, ray length down. 
So that's basically it for the tutorial. Um, yeah, it makes it look very nice. And then you guys can do however kind of transition to your um, edit you want. You can like make an offset transition. You can make a mask transition. Or you can use one of my tutorials for a transition. But now the best thing I think we need to do is just add text. Um, the only thing that is to this part. And the only effects you need to add to this is, um, first of all, you're going to want to make it center. Um, you can just add glow. So let's just search it up and stylize. You can add glow onto it. That makes it look better. And you can also add something called curves. So let's just go right here to GX and Mo. Color correction and curves. Once you've had this, you just bring the beginning down and the ending up. Just adds a little bit more of that cool kind of look. So that's about the end of the tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Now that, if you, now that you've learned some stuff about um, parts, um, trap code form, you can edit it and see your little like edits and stuff. And be sure to like this video if you want more sub like tutorials and subscribe if you want to be updated for more t tutorials and comments if you have any questions just I'm always active so ask what you want I'll answer like as frequently as I can because I'm just um, I'm stopping posting tutorials because high school is back up and yeah so that's about it guys so peace